How's it going, everyone? My name is Iron Stark, and I beat Promised Consort Radon, both before the 1.14 patch and after. I guess this puts me in the ultra cool, I beat this boss before they nerfed him club. Do I get a special ring? Or like a badge or something? No? <laughs> oh. Oh, no one cares. Yeah, I thought so. Alrighty, so obligatory I beat him pre-patch garbage aside, I wanted to take the time to give my thoughts about Promised Consort Radon both before and after the 1.14 patch. At Shadow of Yurdred's release through the 1.13 patch, Promised Consort Radon is a boss that fundamentally annoyed me on several levels. The cross slash was pretty much guaranteed damage, dodge was one slash only to get hit by the second or get frame trapped by it unless you dodge it in a very specific way, generally doesn't feel all that good. Live Mikola was a massive AoE that if you didn't start running as soon as the attack started and sprinted the length of an American football field, you were going to get hit. The visual clutter of the second phase obscured clarity of Promised Consort's attacks, making dodging him even more tedious and more difficult. Promised Consort had very limited downtime, leading to equally limited windows to be able to punish him. His lack of safe punish windows punished the Elden Ring community to stick with very specific strategies to fight him, such as parrying and critical attacks, or shield poke builds with next to no variety. And as a build maker, in a game like Elden Ring, where replayability is centered around build variety, Original Promised Consort's design butchered that principle. Mikla's hair in the second phase also further obscures clarity of Radon's moves, and the uneven terrain of the arena makes dodging situationally inconsistent. Not to mention the frame data of Promised Consort's swords showed his hitboxes were actually bigger than his swords, similar to original Star Scourge Radon's design and his stance regenerates incredibly fast compared to other Elden Ring bosses. In short, aside from the first phase being semi-enjoyable to me, Promised Consort pre-1.14 felt like an inconsistent mess of a fight that despite me having three wins under my belt, I felt no motive to ever fight again. And then came 1.14. I hadn't fought Promised Consort Radon in nearly two months because if I'm going to be earnest, I really didn't want to. I didn't enjoy the fight as a whole, I was content with the three victories I had under my belt within a month after Shadow of Yurid Tree's release, and could have gone the rest of my life ignoring Promised Consort Radon. 1.14 did see some adjustments to Promised Consort Radon that I liked and as a whole have made me reevaluate my opinion of the boss. Most notably, the cross slash is now easily dodgeable and feels good in both phases. Promised Consort feels like he allows for more reaction time and has bigger punish windows than ever before, with me being able to land up to three hits completely safely. Blood Flame Slash has a huge punish window for you to either heal or attack him. Light of Mikola is a smaller AoE now, allowing for a chance to potentially punish Radon and then run, and the visual clutter of the second phase has been generally reduced. Is Promised Consort Radon now a flawless masterpiece? No. The terrain of the arena is still an issue, Mikola's 80s hair is still too damn big, and Promised Consort can still put the player in some very awkward situations that are frankly harder to manage than Point Blank Waterfowl Dance, but that could also just be me getting used to a fight that I've been actively avoiding so I'm a bit rusty. So I'll openly admit that's probably a skill issue for me. At any rate, Masterpiece he is not, but the fight feels significantly better and more consistent than ever before, and I would say that's a win, especially because it's a fight that I want to learn and master, and currently consider to be an A tier fight. And I consider Radon to be an A tier fight because From Software's games aren't good because of just difficulty. 
They're good because the boss fights they create are consistent and encourage mastery of the game's mechanics in a way that is rewarding and fair. The adjustments made to Promise Consort Radon are much closer to that vision because he becomes a consistent fight and consistency is king for creating enjoyable experiences. Here is my fight with 1.14 Promised Consort Radon using the Milady. Stick around after the fight for some failed attempts and brutal losses. For transparency, this was recorded the day that 1.14 launched and was in New Game Plus 3. Enjoy the fights everyone.